everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Pokemon Pearl version. In the last episode, we got our fancy, fancy starter Pokemon. Let's see, starter Pokemon is Chimchar. Look how adorable Chimchar is. He's a little level five. And um, he's almost a level six, which is good. So in the last episode, we got our starter Pokemon. So did our rival. And our mother has politely told us to go talk or go go not go talk to but uh go uh meet professor rowan in the next city up so let's go on to route 201 and i guess get to going here <gasps> it's a bidoof hi bidoof hi little bidoof bidoof now since i'm playing on a ds emulator because pokemon pearl is on uh, the ds I don't have a speed up button, unfortunately. So all this has to be done in real time. So I do apologize for that. And I hope not too many people are upset about that because I personally, personally, that kind of upsets me a little bit. Um, I'm personally used to speeding through wild Pokemon battles and wild, uh, not wild, but uh, trainer battles. So uh, that's what I'm used to. So I know it bugs me a little bit, but for all of you who it bugs, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it because, you know, technology is not that far advanced. So we're going to tough it out a little bit and play Pokemon the old-fashioned way. Oh, you're almost level 6. That is wonderful. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They can come bursting out at any time. So if you're wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in the tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. Gotcha. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Another Bidoof? Really? Bidoof! Bidoof! Hey, wild Bidoof, what's up? I get more experience. He's a little level two, that's kind of cute. Let's go ahead and you scratch. Scratch, you scratch. Chimchar, you scratch. Chimchar, you scratch. You guys, you tackle, you're so cool. Alright, so another thing, a little bit different than what I usually do. All the HMs we get, we're not going to be teaching them to our actually. Um, we're not going to be teaching them to our actual team Pokemon that I'm using, you know, for the Elite Four and throughout the game. We're actually going to be teaching the HMs and stuff to, quote, bitch Pokemon, unquote, as my boyfriend likes to call them. So I'm going to be teaching them to random Pokemon that I catch. Uh, he, he made a list of certain ones that I need to catch to take, uh, teach the HMs to, which is uh, pretty cool. Trainer tips. Don't be shy. Talk to anyone and everyone you happen to see. By talking to people, you will get invaluable information and advice. But, um, uh, he actually made a list. I don't have it near me, unfortunately. If your Pokemon's health, that's its HP, is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Yes, I, I know. I should probably go home and get some rest. Right, let's go through here. <gasps> Wait, that's... I want to talk to that guy up there. Oh my goodness, another Bidoof. Bidoof! 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 Go, Jimmy Char! The little level two is so cute. Um, I don't have the list near me, but I do know there's two Pokemon in, yeah, there's two Pokemon that can learn, let's see, one can learn four and the other one can learn four and there's eight HM moves in all. So that covers all the HMs, which is which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool, I think. Um, just have to play my cards, right? Oh my goodness, please die. Thank you, Bidoof, I appreciate it. Yay, happy face, Chimchar! Get your bunches of experience for Chimichari. Okay, I want to talk to this guy over here. Hi, I work at Pokemon. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free. It will automatically go in the medicine pocket of your bag. Yay, I obtained the potion! Thank you very much. Let's get out of this. Oh my god, freaking tall grass. That's another Bidoof, guys! Woo! Freaking awesome. So the first Pokemon that we're actually going to be catching to add to our team is going to be Ralt. Um, you can find them around on Route, I guess, around Route 203. I'm pretty sure you can uh, find them on Route 205. Two. I'm not exactly sure on that. But I know you can find them on Route 203. And we need a male. We don't want the female. We need a male. Because we want to evolve it into a Gallade. But in order to evolve it, we need a Dawnstone. But we have to make sure it's a male first. Otherwise, it won't, um... It won't evolve into a Gallade, and I'll be sad. That 
ledge is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twin Leaf Town. Gotcha. Thanks for the advice, buddy. Hi! I've been waiting for you. Please, come with me. The professor's waiting to see you. See? This is our Pokemon Research Lab. We'll just go ahead and... Thud! What the? Oh, it's you! That old guy, he's not so scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm out of here. See you later! What was that? Your friend always seemed to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Gotcha. I'm going in this fancy, fancy building here. Finally, you've come. Lori, was it? Let me see your Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that Chimchar to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? No, oh, thank you. Your friend Ralph told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Chimchar. Boy, am I glad you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, well, I don't even want to think about it. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Shino region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Shino for me? Hmm, good answer. We got the Pokedex! Woo! The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Lori, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walk up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Lori, your grand adventure begins right now. The professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go out and fill the Pokedex pages too. That makes us comrades working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? <clears throat> Alrighty then, do you guys have anything interesting to say? Professor Rowan invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. That's cool. I'm Lucas's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. I'm sure we can count on you. I want to show you a few things, so follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get your Pokemon healed if it's been hurt in battle. You'll find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. Lori, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy very much stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh, yeah, right. Lori, you should let your family know you're helping Professor Rowan put together his Pokedex. Sometimes you have to go far away, so you should let someone know. Oh, but first, go heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. You'll be safe then. Okay, be seeing you. Alright, so we gotta go to the Pokemon Center. Actually, can we go into the Pokemon first? Let's go into the Pokemon first and uh, see if we can purchase some stuff. Let's see. A Pokeball. We're gonna need a few of those. How many? Let's see, I can buy like... Let's get ten. Yeah, let's get 10. Yes, I want 10. Yay! You also get a Premier Ball! Yes, when you get uh, when you buy 10 Pokeballs at once, at the same time, they give you a Premier Ball as an added bonus, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and give me two of those. Yes. Go ahead and give me two of these. Yes. And give me one Paralysis Heal. Just to be on the safe side. Yes, I want one. Thank you! All right, I'm all out of money. No, but let's talk to these people and see if we can get some free stuff. If you come across a Pokemon you've just gotta have, toss a Pokeball. Never leave home without one. If a Pokemon loses all its HP, it can't battle anymore. I'm buying lots of potions to avoid having that problem. Yeah, I do the same thing. All right, so let's go to the Pokemon Center real quick and, uh, and heal up. And then we will head back home and tell Mom about our Pokemon adventure. 
Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon. Blah 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 blah. Yes, please restore my Pokemon, pretty please. Put sugar on top. Thank you. All right. Talk to that nice lady at the counter and hand her your Pokemon. She'll hear your Pokemon to perfect health in no time at all. The top floor of any Pokemon Center is the Pokemon Connection Club or Communication Club. There, you can have all sorts of fun with your friends. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and start heading back to the main town. We'll come back here and explore these buildings at a later time. Right now, we're going to head back home and talk to our mama. So let's take the easy route and not go into any wild grass because that's kind of stupid. So let's run into our house really quickly. It's a very short rock. Hey, mom. Welcome home, Lori. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest. What's up, Lori? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. I've got something that you'll find useful. A journal. Awesome. That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you last did. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I kind of envy you. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking. I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be all right by myself. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experiencing new situ uh, sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've got. Excuse me, is my little Ralphie here? Oh no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Lori will deliver it to him. Won't she, Lori? Do I have to? Oh, really? You do that for me? Please take this to Ralph for me. The personal... I'm pretty sure this is a map. Bye-bye, Lori. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he probably had... Uh... Probably headed straight to Jubil Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Ralph. Alright, I'll go ahead and uh, start making my way there. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. If you guys would like to support me, if you guys would like to see more of Pokemon Pearl version, remember to leave likes, comments, and favorites. All that stuff really does help me and I really do appreciate it. In the next episode, we're going to explore the last few buildings that we didn't in uh, Sand Gym Town. And then we're actually going to continue on to Jubilife City to find Ralph and deliver their parcel. So until then, I will see you guys very, very soon with more of Pokemon Pearl version. Bye guys!